When it comes to navigation, being on time at your next call depends on the demand of what your ship carries, be it food, clothing, machinery, or people. The customer who is in charge of the whole trade wants those goods to be delivered to him on time and at a minimum cost. That is why we get the estimates of distance, speed, and time. And in this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step process of calculating for each. Let's go! As we all know, the globe is divided by imaginary lines. These are the parallels of latitude and the meridians of longitude. Latitude measures the distance north or south of the equator and are measured in degrees from the equator to 90 degrees at the north and south poles. Opposing the latter is the longitude. It measures the distance of east or west of the prime meridian, 0 to 180 degrees crossing the lines of the Greenwich Mean Time GMT, or the Universal Coordinated Time UTC, and the International Date Line IDL. Every separation of the line is 15 degrees, which also formulates as the local zone description for each area. Bear in mind that the zone description is different from UTC in which ZDs are positive in west longitude and negative in east longitude. And UTC is the primary standard of time used globally to regulate the clocks as signs will be opposite of ZD. Okay, say we're somewhere at Louisiana, USA, which is around 090 degrees west longitude. Divide that by 15 degrees and we have a zone description of plus 6 and UTC of minus 6. But it doesn't end there. Remember that some places have daylight savings time or DST. This is when they set their clocks forward at a certain month and back on a particular month. One of the main reasons DST was created was to create a way to save energy or electricity and to get more use of natural daylight. So before starting off solving any ETAs, be sure that your arrival ZD is set to the appropriate hour. Now that we have a general idea of everything, let's proceed on what we're really here for. To make things a little bit organized, we'll separate our formulas depending on the areas of ZD. First, we'll solve ETA involving same signs. When we say same signs, it means that the voyage area is within the same hemisphere, be it west or east. Let's say we're somewhere outbound of Malacca Strait and next port of call is Maputo, Mozambique. Present time and date, 2nd of May, 2024, 1300 local time. Distance to go, 4870 nautical miles. Present speed, 13 knots. Zone description of Singapore, minus 8. Zone description of Maputo, minus 2. First, we'll solve the steaming time. Our guide will always be the distance triangle, where distance is equal to speed times time. Time is what we're finding, hence, we must interchange the formula to time equals distance divided by speed. So, distance of 4870 nautical miles divided by speed of 13 knots, and we'll get 374.6153846153846. Six. <sighs> Divide that by 24 to get the days. Only write down the whole number, which is 15 days, and subtract it by itself. Multiply the result to 24 to get the hours. Same procedure. Take out the whole number, which is 14 hours, and subtract the result by itself. Lastly, multiply the result to 60 to get the minutes, which will be 37. So your steaming time will be 15 days, 14 hours, and 37 minutes long. Now add your steaming time to your local time to get your initial ETA. Remember that the equation here is to always add. Now that we have our initial ETA, you will see that time has exceeded the 24 hour mark. All you have to do is subtract it by 24 hours and add one day to your date. When you get the result, same signs or same ZDs must always be subtracted to get the time difference. So 8 minus 2 is 6 hours. The rule here is if the vessel is heading to an easterly route, time difference must be added to the initial ETA and if vessel is heading to a westerly route, time difference must be subtracted to the initial ETA. Because our vessel is on a westerly course, time difference will be subtracted to initial ETA. Back to a similar problem, our initial ETA can be subtracted to the time difference as it lacks hours. We need to borrow from the date to add to the hours. Now that it's able, subtract initial ETA to time difference. Hence, ETA to Maputo, Mozambique is 17th of May, 
2137Rs. Next formulas are for the different signs. When dealing with the different signs or different ZDs, bear in mind that the vessel is either crossing GMT or IDL. So the second part of solving ETA is with different signs and crossing GMT. So vessel has left Maputo port and is now bound for Puerto Brisa, Colombia. Present date and time, 20th of May, 2024, 1530 local time. Distance to go, 7300 nautical miles. Present speed, 14 knots. Zone description of Maputo, Mozambique, minus 2. Zone description of Puerto Brisa, Colombia, plus 5. Same procedure follows. Get the steaming time. Add it to the present date and time. You get the initial ETA. Another interesting problem. Days and hours have exceeded their limits. All we have to do is subtract the month to its number of days and replace the current month, which is May, to the next month, which is June. Subtract initial hours to 24 and add one day to the initial date. Now, unlike the formula for ZD on the same signs, different signs must always be added to get the time difference. So, 2 plus 5 is 7 hours. Because vessel is still heading in the westerly route, time difference needs to be subtracted from initial ETA. Result is ETA to Puerto Brisa, Colombia is 11th of June, 0156 hours. The last part of solving ETA with different signs is when vessels crossing IDL. Now that our vessel is finished with her operations in Colombia, she has now crossed the Panama and making her way to Tokyo, Japan. Present date and time, 16th of June 2024, 0940, local time. Distance to go, 7,700 nautical miles. Present speed, 12.5 knots. Zone description of Panama, plus 5. Zone description of Tokyo, Japan, minus 9. Same procedure, get the steaming time, add that to the local date and time to get the initial ETA, and correct everything when it exceeds their limits. Now, because vessel will cross IDL, be it on an easterly route or a westerly route, ZDs must always be added and the sum must always be subtracted to 24. So 5 plus 9 is 14 hours, minus 24 is 10 hours. The next rule here is, when vessel is on an easterly route, one day must be subtracted. And when heading on a westerly route, one day must be added. Considering that the vessel is still heading on a westerly route, one day is added and 10 hours be subtracted. Result, our ETA to Tokyo, Japan is on 12th of July at 1540 hours. It's nice to know that we now have apps or Excel formulas which make life easier. But what's even better is we know how everything's done from scratch. And hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. If you loved it, subscribe. Peace.